The future of a Lakeland antique mall and its hundreds of vendors is still uncertain. Eight on Your Side has been digging into the market's bankrupt owner, and we found that he has some shady business dealings in the past. Eight on Your Side's Victoria Price broke the story. She's back with a follow up report tonight. Good evening. I spoke to vendors who pulled out of Wildwood earlier this year when they could sense financially things were going south. Others wish they had only seen the writing on the wall. One man's trash is Ron Galetti's treasure. Those canes to the right are pretty cool. Galetti is one of 200 plus vendors hanging in limbo after bankruptcy suddenly closed Lakeland's Wildwood Antique Mall. Hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of merchandise now held hostage and vendors left unpaid. We're all wondering. What's going on with that stuff, man? When are we going to get it back? Wildwood first filed for bankruptcy in August, right around when Galetti set up shop. Some vendors left because they weren't getting paid. Galetti chose to stay. I heard the rumors and a lot of people on the street saying, oh, I'm out of there. I won't come back, you know, that kind of stuff. But for me, I was selling and it was all good. But there's more than just rumors. We found records in Broward County that show Wildwood's registered owner, Manny Pesco, pleaded guilty to theft, embezzlement, and tax violations in the 70s. In 2014, another one of Pesco's ventures was disciplined by the State Board of Auctioneers for failing to pay people or give them their property in a timely manner. Check this out. Galetti says he has roughly 8,000 bucks of inventory tied up in Wildwood, plus money owed. It's devastating, but you know, um, I have hopes that it's going to work out, you know. Peddling in the past, but hopeful for the future. I called an attorney for Manny Pesco, the now bankrupt owner of Wildwood. He refused to comment. Reporting in Lakeland, Victoria Price, 8 on your side.